Drop top, Ferrari, chop chop, the roof roof, two seat, Mazi, that's like a cuckoo. Fuck out my face. Hey. Fuck out my face. This is one about here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I get these chunky big plat things. So, yeah, if you're interested in this tutorial, then continue watching. Alrighty, you guys, so I went ahead and parted my hair to prepare to do this hairstyle. So, I decided to do a total of six braids. So, there's two in the front, two in the middle, and then two in the back. So, yeah, you guys, it'll be much easier if you just go ahead and part your hair. I watched this YouTuber called Will on a Whim, and I'm pretty sure you guys heard of him if you watch my videos. He is an amazing YouTuber. Shout out to him. And I see him do chunky braids, and I've always wanted to do like bigger braids on my hair, but I just did never know how, you know, how it was going to turn out. And so, I've been planning on doing this tutorial. And then I seen that he was he had already uploaded a tutorial similar like similar to the one that I wanted to do. So I wanted to try like his method. I seen he only used coconut oil and water. So I was like, hmm, I should just try to use olive oil and water and see how that works. Um, normally when I do my braids, I incorporate some type of gel to make like that sleek look. But being that I'm already doing this on stretch hair and I already have product in my hair from my previous twist out, I might not need to do that. So the only thing I might need is water and oil. Thank you Will on the Whim for giving me that combination, that water and oil. Cause I'm, I always be thinking extra. <laughs> so let's see how this works. So yeah, if you wanna check out his video, it'll be in the description box. So yeah, um, apply a little water. This is just water I put in a random bottle. You just want to make sure your hair is a little bit saturated, not like drenched in water, but just make sure that it's easy to like finger detangle or like, you know, a little water. So after you apply your water, get your olive oil. Well, I'm using olive oil. You can use whatever oil you want. I just noticed over the years how olive oil just helped my hair shine better. So it just all depends on like what oil work for you. I know some people, like olive oil more, some people like um almond, sweet almond oil more. So it just depends on your personal preference. Alright you guys. How do y'all feel about this H and M thing? Like H and M really shout out. Like I really don't understand. Like I was floored, honestly, flabbergasted. I was speechless at the buffoolery. Like, what in the hell? But my thing is like, y'all should have known better. Like, who's the market manager? Who is on the team? Like, everybody needs to be fired at this point. I don't even know, like a part of me don't want to shop there no more. I really did never buy anything out of H&M anyway. I used to just buy some jeans every now and then. Wow, you can't do nothing nowadays, like pure clownery. But my favorite song right now has to be um, Stand Down by Moneybag Yo. They, they didn't want to hold a nigga like me down. I had to get their fake ass. I always put too much olive oil. This olive oil is just for my hair. I don't use it to cook. Well, I use olive oil to cook, but not the same one. Cause how nasty would that be? I went and loaded my chopper with rounds. I caught you falling the shit on the town. Water on me, you might fall around and drown. Staying down, elevated my sound. You're putting your place trying to come for my crown. You ain't taking nothing, put that on my child. You won't see diamonds when I crack a smile. Let me break it to you, boy. song that I've really been liking is Justine Skye's Good Love. Let's cover the male hair community really quickly on YouTube. I mean, I don't understand why there's so much negative energy in the male natural hair community like i don't get it i don't understand why everybody just can't be cool I ever expect juan amaya to be a part of like any type of negative energy that be going on in the community i ain't got shit to do with it you know what i'm saying like i'm just on here trying to fuck with my people give my people what they want you know all that extra shit that they got going on on here i ain't got nothing to do with it like I said, I think every male hair YouTuber is doing their own thing, and I'm hella proud. I enjoy people prospering off of things that they enjoy doing. If you notice, the people who have the most to say about other people's channel, they shit not popping. Because if it was, or if they did feel confident about their own content, you wouldn't be reaching for mine. But I'm going to hold that down. Like I said, I don't have shit to say about nobody 
in their platform because they ain't got shit to do with me. But I, I just say all of that to say, if you was really on your shit, you wouldn't be concerned about nobody else. A person, that's just in any situation or any case scenario. If you're really legitimately on your shit, concentrated on your shit, you would not have no energy to speak on nobody else's shit. When you 100% focus on your own shit, I'm so focused on my own channel and my own content and making my last video better than the one I uploaded before that I don't even... <laughs> Hating hoes ain't happy. And happy hoes ain't hating. And I really been liking Dodger Cat. Her, she be coming out with a lot of music and it's like... It's like funny, like <laughs> the songs are like catchy as hell and I like them. I like her. She's so cute. I love Dodger Cat. And I love Ski Mask. I like that song, Revenges, 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 Revenges. Like if you do your braids and then they stick out like this, only thing you need to do is just put on a scarf when you go to bed or a bandana like the one I got. They're on my website, you guys. They're going out pretty fast. It's the last section. Yeah. Keeping your hair moisturized is so important, you guys. I'm gonna do a video on that because I have a whole moisturizing routine just for moisturizing. Because if your hair is dry, then you know breakage is from dry hair. So that's a really, that's a routine that everybody need to be doing and I need to hurry up and get up on it and make that happen. Make it happen. I was on the phone with my friend Jackie last night and I came up with this quote. I wrote the quote down because I forgot it, of course. <laughs> but, and I'm touching my phone without this oil on my hand, whatever, I'll watch it later. The quote is, where is it? Gotta stick that leg out there in order to walk. That is 2018 move. And that quote just basically means, stop second guessing yourself. Whenever I don't second guess myself and I be living on the edge and I just do it, that that really be the most successful projects that I've ever done. If you wanna do something, just do not second guess yourself, do it. At least when you do it and you don't second guess yourself, at least you know where you fucked up at and you can just like go back and fix it. Or like you can always try again. You're not wasting no time. All about good time management and just taking that chance and taking that risk. Leap in on the fan. You know? <laughs> All right, you guys, so I am finished. My braids look straight. But like I said, if you want them to like be flatter, then just take your do-rag, your bandana, whatever you got, just like take it and like put it on your hair so like it forms to your head a little bit more. I just wanna say thank you so much you guys for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate you guys' support. Like, comment, and subscribe. And you know, let me know what you think about these. Should I do them smaller next time? Should I do them bigger? What type of looks do you wanna see? I really appreciate you guys for supporting me and I just want to say thank you so much for watching. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Please don't blow my action, hold just stand down. Please don't blow my shit. Yeah, all my niggas turn up, they don't stand down.